why is it that there are some people that look at all the people that are better than them and it triggers negative emotions inside of them. It upsets them, it makes them angry, it makes them unhappy, etc. But at the same time, there are also people that look at others that are better than them who primarily get positive emotions because of it. They get inspired, it cheers them up, it makes them happy, or at the very least, they just respect the other person for his success, right? Why is there such a difference? We have come to this, this narrative in our culture or in like the self-improvement community that we shouldn't compare ourselves to other people, right? Because comparing yourself to other people, that's going to make you unhappy. Only compare yourself to yourself. Competition is bad because, well, when you look at other people that are better than you, then, well, that's, that's bad. It tr triggers unhappiness and negative emotions and blah, 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 right? But I noticed the pattern. I noticed that the people that actually become unhappy when they see other people that are better than them usually tend to be people that are unwilling to change themselves. Think about it. Who is it that gets mad or upset or unhappy when he or she sees someone that is better than him? What type of people are these? It is the, the angry, fat feminist that tries to tell herself that being overweight is beautiful and healthy, right? Deep down inside, she's unhappy. She knows that she's destroying herself. And so whenever she sees someone, another woman, with an attractive body, it triggers negative emotions inside of her, right? She thinks, oh no! This upsets me. Oh, no, we shouldn't be allowed to look at that. Oh, no, 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 no. People shouldn't say that that is good because it makes me think that I'm bad, right? That is the person that gets negative emotions whenever she sees someone that is better than her, right? If you take a woman that is overweight who has sort of accepted her situation and she's like, yeah, you know, I'm overweight, it's kind of unhealthy, I need to make a change, and she actually starts losing weight, she actually starts to make a change about her situation. She no longer gets negative emotions whenever she sees another woman with an attractive, healthy body, right? Seeing that other woman doesn't make her unhappy, but now suddenly seeing that other woman makes her happy and it inspires her, right? She now starts to have respect for the success of the other woman. The nerd, the loser that spends all of his time wasting away his life, destroying his brain, social media, video games, pornography. That is the type of person that whenever he sees someone else with an Instagram account, having success, having money and fast cars and success with women and stuff, that is the type of person who gets upset about it, right? He starts to think, ah, oh, that guy's just showing off with his fast cars and oh, he's trying to brag with his women. And uh. That is the type of person that becomes happy whenever he sees someone else that has a more successful life than him. But the moment that same nerd accepts his situation, he's like, hey, I'm kind of wasting away my life here. Maybe I need to make a change. Maybe I can't just watch porn and play video games all the time. He hops on self-improvement, he goes to the gym, starts working on his mental health, he starts meditating, he starts to, to get a job, maybe he gets his own business. Suddenly, whenever he sees the same guy on Instagram, you know, the Andrew Tate kind of Instagram account, it no longer triggers unhappiness inside of him, but it triggers inspiration. Suddenly, he starts to see that as a positive thing. It triggers positive emotions inside of him. It in inspires him, or at the very least, he can just bring up respect for other people's success, right? And so this idea that looking at all the people makes you unhappy, it's largely just nonsense. It is not looking at all the people that are better than you itself that makes you unhappy, 
but it is the fact that you were already unhappy with certain factors in your life and that looking at other people made you realize your own shortcomings that makes you unhappy. That's how it really works. It's not the fact that other people are better than you. It's the fact that you suck and you haven't sort of accepted that and you are not willing to change yet. And so looking at other people is like holding up a mirror to yourself. And that mirror is telling you, hey, this is what other people are doing with their lives. And, and this is what you've been doing so far. And that's why it triggers negative emotions inside of you. Now, don't take this video the wrong way. There are plenty of reasons why you shouldn't watch Instagram for hours a day. I'm not saying go ahead and, and look at all the Instagram accounts you want. Obviously, watching too much Instagram, it numbs your dopamine system and it's just generally not a good idea to spend a large portion of your life lusting over other people's lives instead of actually trying to live your own life. That's not, not a very good idea. But this general notion that is bad for you, whenever you see someone that is better than you, that it makes you unhappy, that it triggers negative emotions, is not really true. The real problem is not that competition is a bad thing or that we humans are not capable of mentally coping with seeing people that are better than us. The real problem is the fact that you were unhappy all along. The thing that you were really unhappy about is your own life. And looking at other people is nothing but a reflection that there are things in your own life that you need to fix. If you truly become content with your own life and confident in your own abilities, then looking at people that are better than you will no longer trigger negative emotions. It will trigger positive emotions. It will make you happy. It will inspire you. Or at the very least, you will just not care, but just respect the other people, right? You're like, oh, that's, that's great. Good for you, man. I'm happy for you that you've achieved that success. You can be sort of happy for these people and you can at the very least respect them. If you truly experience negative emotions whenever you see other people that are better than you, what you really need to be doing is ask yourself, why does this upset me? Because asking yourself why probably leads you to the true cause of the problem, the factors in your life that need some more attention. For example, if seeing someone with a better body than you upsets you, then that is probably a sign that you are currently neglecting your body, you are neglecting your health and your appearances, and you are probably not really making any changes right now. You aren't willing to change yet. You're in denial, right? Or at least you're lazy and you're procrastinating. You're not actually making a change about it. That is the true problem. The fact that you get upset when you see people that have a better body than you is a wake-up call to you that you should stop destroying your health and your appearances. If seeing someone that is rich upsets you, you see this Instagram account of this guy in this mansion and his supercars and it upsets you. This is probably a sign that you are currently not that happy with your financial situation and that you are not really making any changes right now. You're probably not spending your evenings and your weekends trying to make a promotion or build your own business, right? You're probably spending your evenings and your weekends playing video games jerking your dick to porn. That's why you become happy whenever you see people that are making changes in their life. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not saying you should necessarily spend all your evenings and weekends building your own business and trying to become a millionaire. It could also mean accepting your current situation and accepting that this is your financial situation for the rest of your life. But either way, the problem that you are having is that you are unhappy with your current situation and that you are not trying to make a change, you are not trying to either improve it or accept it. And so seeing someone else that has another situation than you brings up your own unhappiness. 
That is the true problem. If you see a guy that is very successful with women, and it upsets you, and you think, oh, this guy is trying to show off, oh, and you sort of feel, feel this anger towards this guy or whatever, right? You feel this resent towards this guy. 99.999999% chance I give you that you are someone that isn't that good with women and again, you are not willing to make a change, are you? When's the last time you actually approached a woman and you, you broke your comfort bubble and you got over your fear of rejection? You probably don't do that, right? You probably sit there being sad saying, oh no, but I have anxiety and oh, it's uncomfortable. I don't want to get rejected, right? And so then whenever you see someone that did break his comfort bubble and that wasn't afraid to get rejected, it triggers negative emotions inside of you. It is nothing but a feedback mechanism, a wake-up call that tells you this is wrong in your life. The thing that actually makes you unhappy is your life. There are certain factors in your life that you were already unhappy with and seeing all the people that were better than you did nothing but confront you with your own unhappiness. So there's two choices that you have right now. You can either choose to draw the victim card like the feminists and say, oh no, we're not allowed to say that some people are attractive. We're not allowed to say that, that being morbidly obese is unhealthy and unattractive. No, 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 no. We should try to destroy the truth to protect my feelings. That's what you can do. Or at the very least, you can adopt this mindset where you're like, oh, guys, no, no, no. Don't look at all the people that are better than you. Competition is bad. You know, just compare yourself to yourself, to who you were yesterday, but not to other people. That's the mindset you can take, the victim card. Or you can accept the actual truth that looking at other people was never the problem, but that your life was the problem and you can use it as f fuel to actually improve your life and actually become happier.